I love physical activity. I like the way I feel at the end of a day, like physically exhausted. Your body aches from head to toe, you're bruised up, but you feel so strong and powerful and like I can accomplish anything. So everything I do, every decision I make, every example I set, every day when I get up and I go to work, come home tired and exhausted. It's so that my boys see that you can choose your own path. So I grew up in Missouri in a rural farming community. Um, when I lived with my biological mom, we moved from house to house, probably every three months. We moved several times. And then when I was taken away from her, you know, I was given to my aunt and uncle. Then my aunt passed away. My uncle didn't want me, he passed me off to another uncle. And it was just bouncing around and around and around and around and thinking, where do I feel like home? I don't feel like I even have a home. And when I left for the military, I felt like a sense of home. I felt a sense of family. I felt a sense of camaraderie. I felt a band of brotherhood. Like I belonged somewhere finally, and we were all in this together. To me, it was something I didn't ever want to let go of. The fact that I was a female joining the military and being part of the military police corps didn't even occur to me. When you're doing a job, when you're working to accomplish a task, I might have to do it differently than you do it because maybe I don't have the same physical strength as you, but I'll figure out a way to get it done. And the military taught me that when you're given a task, you figure out a way to accomplish it. I feel like it gave me a lot of self-confidence and a lot of courage to try things and, and know before I even try that I can do it. That camaraderie, that aspect of trust and, and that bond really solidified what I want to look for in future jobs. And that is something that I'm not really happy in a profession unless I have that. It's very important to me. After I got out of the military, I started looking for jobs and I found the job at, as a line clearance tree trimmer. And with that job came union membership with the IBEW and that afforded me the opportunity to put my name on the books um, to become a direct hire as a senior groundman. And I love it. Crystal has a great work ethic. She's very uh, ambitious. Sometimes maybe a little too ambitious. You gotta slow her down a little bit, you know, because she just wants to dive right into everything. You know? She's working in the mud and the rain and shooting out rocks right now, and you know, every once in a while something goes backwards and things fly back out at you, and you're like, mm, oh well, mud head to toe. It's just part of it. Crystal loves getting dirty. She does it every day and is having a good time doing it. It's very important to come in confident. That's something Crystal has. She brings that to the job site and it just, it brings more respect to the people around her and the men she has to work with when she's able to perform the tasks that she's given. She's not shy and she's not afraid to um, just do what needs to be done and she's good at it. She's hardworking, she's willing to learn, doesn't back away from any task given to her. It's been a really great experience for me to be a part of this organization. We're all benefiting from this. It's not just the customer who's getting their electricity. It's not just my employer who's making money because they're distributing electricity. My family's also benefiting because now I don't have to worry about medical coverage. Now I don't have to worry about income. Now I don't have to worry about working three jobs to provide. Now I can be self-sufficient. Now I can be independent. Now I can do what I need to do for my family. And it was all made possible because of the IBEW.